Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this equation um, for r and t by using uh, elimination. And when using elimination, the main important thing we want to do is get our coefficients of one of our variables to start off of to be the exact same. And forget about the value, if it's positive or negative, just get them to be exactly the same. Um, so what I have is for my coefficients of r are 8 and 6. And I have my coefficients of t are uh, negative, three, uh, negative 5 and 3. So I really pretty much want to see what is the smallest LCD or what would be the easiest um, LCD that I can obtain. So the LCD between um, 8 and 6, let's see, we got 16 would be 24. So I could say LCD is equal to 24. Or I can determine what is the LCD of 5 and 3, which would be 15. And I usually like to determine what is the smallest LCD to be able to get. Either way, we're still going to have to multiply the top and the bottom equation by its own multiplier to obtain our LCDs. Um, so I'm just going to choose LCD is 15. However, if you wanted to get the 8 and 6 to have the um, LCD of 24, you could do it that way as well. So to get an LCD of 15, that means I need to multiply the top equation by 3 and the bottom equation by 5. So now I'll simply just multiply across by applying distributive property. So 3 times 8 is going to be 24r minus 15t um, equals 180. 5 times 6r is going to be 30r. 5 times 3t is going to be a positive 15t. And 5 times negative 18 or 5 times 18 is going to be um, 36, 72, 80, 90. OK, so now, as you notice, as I multiply to get my LCDs the same, you can see that now, since I have 15, 1 is negative, 1 is positive. So when you have that case, when it happens that way, just simply add the two equations up together. So 24r plus 30r is 54r. Negative 15 plus 15 is just going to be 0, um, zero 15, which is just 0. So that equals 90. Now I need to solve for r, so I'll divide by 54. And therefore, I have r equals 90 divided by 54. Um, and to solve for the rest of that, I guess I'll have to go and see what is, uh, what is the reduced fraction of that, which would be 5 thirds. All right. So, by reducing 90 over 54, I get 5 thirds. Now, to solve for, um, that is what r equals. Now, to solve for t, I need to plug 5 thirds into one of these equations. And preferably, I'm going to want to plug this into a variable where it simplifies. So I'll plug it into the second one. So I have 6 times r, but we know r is 5 thirds, plus 3t equals a negative 18. Well, 6 times 5 thirds, just multiply that across, that becomes 10 plus 3t equals negative 18. Subtract 10, subtract 10, 3t equals a negative 28. Divide by 3, divide by 3. 3 is going to equal 7, 21. 3 goes into there. 3 does not go into negative 28, so my final answer would just be a negative 28 over 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use elimination to solve for your missing variables, even when they're fractions. Thanks.